Hey guys, this is Ryan with Redick Reviews here, and this is the Gaming Evolved app, which I did a review on, kind of a review, more of an overview video, um, a little bit ago, uh, I think it was a few weeks back, um, but that was before an update came out, and I want to do an updated one because some things have changed, um, and I do want to go over some of the things that they added, and things that they changed, really. Um, so let's get started. The Gaming Evolved app is made by Raptor and AMD. It is basically just so you can earn points playing games, community. Um, it's a pretty cool thing, actually. I like it. Um, first page here is the home page. This is the list of games, kind of like the Steam library does. Um, you can have either a green check mark, which means it's been optimized, kind of like um, Skyrim, Titanfall, other games. Um, that are here, they've been optimized using the optimize settings button. And if they could be but haven't, they will have this uh, exclamation point. Well, this stuff hasn't changed. Um, that's what happens when you hit optimize. And if you want to revert, you just hit revert. Um, completely up to you. Um, and if it can't or it's not supported, because there's a lot of games that aren't supported by um, this app yet, uh, they'll be at the bottom here. I'm surprised they don't do Minecraft yet, but they do not yet. Um, but that's it, uh, really, for that. Uh, if you want to, you can use the in-game apps option right here. I have it enabled for some games that don't actually have support for it. It'll warn you. Tell you shouldn't do that. Um, they haven't tested it basically for that. Um, but yeah, I, I I'll use it anyway. From that though, if it does work on something that is supported, like not Titanfall, but um, something like World of Warcraft, um, turning it on and it's to Control Tab, I believe. You can broadcast, um, snapshot, communities, chat, stuff like that. A bunch of cool things, actually. Um, straight from there. And I actually used it uh, a little bit ago for streaming. Um, it does work. goes straight to Twitch, um, announces it in the Raptor community, um, and, of course, anywhere else that you want to do it. You can do it from there, too. You can do it on Facebook, Twitter, and the other stuff. But right now, they don't. Um, they don't really support it for many games. Um, let's see, what else is here? Um, what else is here? The total time played, last session, stuff like that. Um, it does track your time, that's the whole point of it, tracking gameplay. You can tell it not to track gameplay if you want. Don't know why um, you would do that, but you can. Um, but when it tracks gameplay, it gives you points per, uh, I believe it's per minute played, at least that's how it used to be. Um, Basically, the how the points work, um, you are points for playing games, signing up, verifying your email address, optimizing your first game, optimizing each individual game, and then contributing to the community. Um, one thing that they changed since the last one was the recent transactions over here. Um, they're actually pretty convenient to have, so you know if you, you know, if you swore you played that one day but you weren't sure, find out. Um, the max you can get right now is 65 a day. I predict they'll be changing that that is awfully low. Um, and I'll show you why. <laughs> the points are used to buy things from the store. Uh, the store here has a bunch of actually really awesome things. This is really what got me interested in this was, you know, I'm all for, I had to sign up anyway, but then they said you can, uh, where was it? You can buy the uh, Sapphire R, no, nope, that's not the one. The Sapphire R9270X, which I can't seem to find. Um, but it was in here. Uh, there's a 270 card. Um, so, yeah, you can buy them here. Um, they put them on discount. But the reason those points aren't really that much, I mean, you could do community all the time. You could play games. Basically, if you're here every single day, it's possible. But thank you, Demon Nuke, for breaking this down. Um, basically, yeah, it's not possible. That's what that means. <laughs> um, it's a little strange, uh, to say the least. I don't know why they changed it to be this way. Um, 65 cap is a little ridiculous. I, if I were them, I'd bump it up to 150, 200, something like that, um, and give it a little more points for playing the games. Um, other than that, I guess they can lower the prices. These are fine. Sweepstakes, obviously. This is all fine. Um, I wouldn't mind dropping a 100, 200 just for a chance to win games. Or even hardware, for example, the R9270X, which is, I guess that's where it went. Um, I like it. Um, things like the Elder Scrolls beta key, so the beta that starts and end, or starts on 314 and ends 316, 
this weekend for when I'm making this video. So if you see this before then, I you could download this, go get the beta key, 10 points. You get a few hundred just for signing up. I think it's like 700. Um, so you have plenty of points to spend from just doing that. Um, other night you get little discounts. Uh, people use Gamefly. Um, obviously if you want to buy things like e-guides, um, but they do sell the actual games too, so Titanfall for some reason isn't out. Let me see. They may have just not updated this yet. Yeah, I don't think they updated it yet. Titanfall is available at the moment. But um, yeah, 25,000 points. Even that, it's like, really? 25,000? It's a tiny bit excessive. But I understand where they're coming from, trying to change the point system. You did get them a lot easier before. But at the same time, everything was a lot more expensive. So, depend on how you looked at things. I still hadn't hit forty thousand, although I could see, or thirty thousand. I think it was forty, although I could see how that was even a little uh, easy to get to. Um, but still, it's for play. I mean, if you're going to do it like this, you're going to you, people aren't going to do it if they're not going to be able to buy something. And if the only thing you can really buy are sweepstakes chances to win. Some people will do it. I'll do it every once in a while, maybe. But I really, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of chances to win. If I just get points, I'm going to spend it on something I'm sure I'm going to get. But that's just personal preference. Um, so basically, that's what they're spent on. Soon they'll have in-game stuff. I'm assuming Team Fortress 2 is in that list, things like that. Um, I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what they do with that. There's some things you can really do with some in-game items to get people on here, but. Um, that's completely up to them. Um, but yeah, so basically, you earn points. Let me go back here real quick. It says up to 100 points for community action. Um, 100 points. The only time you're going to get 100 points is by doing it for the first time. Just like you can get technically up to 50 points for optimizing it. Because that's your first optimization. <laughs> um, same thing here. First post, 100 points. First like, first follow, first following of somebody else. Um, they're all 100 points, obviously. They're they're not excessively difficult to do, obviously. But at the same time, um, that's not exactly accurate. Uh, kind of is, but it's kind of misleading. It's really like 10, 20 points most of the time. I think I get like 20 points, 10 points for doing um, most of the postings and likes and things like that. Um, which, again, if it were 100 points, legitimately 100 points for doing some things, then I might be a little more intrigued, <laughs> I guess. Um, because 10 points is not going to get me up anywhere near here. Even with the games before this discount of 50% off ends in about a year. Um, so yeah, what else is there? Where were we? Uh, I got a little off topic there. Speaking of the community, let's go over here actually and take a look at Titanfall. Um, so the Titanfall community, let me go here, there we go. Um, Titanfall is available for Xbox and PC, so there is no PS3 or anything over here on the right side. Tells you what it's for, um, little description, stuff like that. Um, and while I'm looking over here, I just thought about it. It'll also tell you what you and your friend's hardware is, so you'll know um, what other people's hardware is if they're saying, like in the comments, game's really laggy, um, never buy, game sucks, I don't know, something like that. You could check their hardware and say, well, of course it sucks. You're running on a calculator. <laughs> kind of makes sense why it sucks. Um, but other than that, you got these little comment things at the bottom. Um, if you want to leave some stuff, this is how you get points through the community. Um, you can even live stream, like I said before, through the app. It goes straight to Twitch, but it's announced here, so you can click. Direct link goes to Twitch. Um, it's a little, I think it needs to be patched. Part of the reason it's still up here in beta. Um, but it, I'm sure this will be fixed where it's actually Titanfall gameplay here and not whatever the hell that is. I don't even know. Um, but just throwing your na throwing, throwing the name Titanfall in there does not make it a Titanfall uh, stream. Um, but then there are, are videos that if you wanted to see the game before you bought it or something, um, you could see it there. Images too. Snapshots. Cool things. Um, other than that, you can rank between your friends if you're the competitive type. Um, I kind of am sometimes, depends on the game. This is a game that I don't particularly care for competing in <laughs> too much. Um, it's not much of a leaderboard thing here. Um, but they do track trophies and such. Um, if I earned any, you'd see them there 
or if they had any in Titanfall. I believe they have trophies. Um, but yeah, so they, they track your gameplay time, too. Um, there's a rating by Metacritic, too. 87 out of 100. It's about what I'd give it, actually. Um, so yeah, that is the majority of the app. Um, miscellaneous things that you might want to know. Um, there is the update button down here. If you want to update your drivers, your video drivers, you can do it there. You can refresh the list. It'll grab more games, kind of, and it'll come up up here in the alerts, um, which is where you'll see if other people play games, such like things like that. Um, but if it adds a game, uh, like here, it did a PSN import um, a while ago. I think this is when the uh, next update, update came out. Um, but it, up, it included all these things, came in from PSN, um, added Killzone and all that stuff. So it added some points, points over, um, or not points rather, uh, some game time over, um, titles over. Um, so yeah, that I think that's pretty much it. Um, the only other thing that I think is actually really interesting um, is you can add people on their Raptor account, PlayStation, there is Xbox, but it's not here, and Steam. Uh, you can add all them right here. Um, message them straight through here from here to their like Steam account for example uh, there we go so there you go um, you could do it from PlayStation but theirs is not active I think Xbox is, is active so you can do that through their site it'll probably pop up a browser window um, and I think that's it I don't think there's anything else I missed except for if you want to download some free to play games here go for it um, just make it a little easier to find some um, yeah, that's about it. So I, if you have any questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Um, I recommend downloading this. I think it's actually really cool, and I hope that by the time it's out of beta, it fixes some of the minor bugs like links, for example, um, thing, you know, miscellaneous links, really, um, and some bugs in syncing up games. Sometimes, if you have a game that's very clearly there, it won't actually grab it, even if you refresh it for some number of days even. Um, I think it's, well not some number of days, but in about a day it'll grab it. Um, but it's far from instant, which I don't know how the, uh, how, what install file they're looking for, but it's there. Um, so I'm not really sure. There's some miscellaneous things, but that's what betas really are for, testing and fixing, right? Um, but other than that, that is about it. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, Feel free to read up read the write up for this on redarkreviews.com. There should be a link for that in the left side, and on the right side there should be a link to download this from Raptor site at raptor.com/amd. Um, it's not a long download for the record. If anybody has slower internet, it shouldn't really take too long. Um, it's not like five gigs or something. This really isn't much. It's really just connecting to the internet to grab everything. Um, it's a few megabytes. Um, so yeah, other than that, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. A Titanfall review, speaking of which, should be popping up soon. So thanks for watching.